Hello everyone. Last week when I did the window garden update, I talked about some of the troubles that I was having, uh, leggy plants and whatnot. But two things I've learned so far about this window garden is one, I wasn't getting enough light. Two, some of my pots I didn't fill deep enough with soil. I remedied as much as I could. Uh, some of the pots I added a little more soil. It needs still more, but I don't want to kill off the plant, so I'll try to add more as they grow. But anyway, let's talk about the changes. The first thing is I added another shelf up here to make a top, and that allows me some storage of some gardening supplies on top, and it also allowed me to install grow lights for the shelf below. Uh, originally, I had intended on buying the four foot uh, shop lights and just using fluorescent light bulbs in them. However, when I went to go pick them up, I come across these and these were so cheap that I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try them. We'll see how they work. If they don't work, I can use them on another project another time and go ahead and get the shop lights. And spend the extra money and have the double bulbs. But so far, they seem to be working. I just picked these up at your Wally World, and they were $12. I think they were like $11.97, and that included the bulb. Uh, the shop lights were, I think they were going to run me about $24 by the time I bought the cheap shop light and then the two bulbs. Each, set, each unit would have cost me about $24. So this is half the price. That may make a difference to some. It certainly helps us. Um, all my cords I zip tied to keep them from hanging out. And uh, like I said, I repotted some of the plants. Some of them I threw out and restarted. And I believe as far as changes to the stand itself, that's all I've done this week. And for you safety people, I can spew off a bunch of numbers to you. 102 watts and 0.85 amps and I really don't know what I'm telling you. <laughs> Daddy J explained it to me, but I am not an electrician and I don't understand it. I don't have to understand it. I just have to know this is safe, it works, and um, it seems to have improved my plants. So I'm going to step off and I'm going to let Daddy J take over and let him explain more about the electrical for you. What we've got is six lights. They're 17 watts apiece. And uh, if you're wanting to figure out you know, your amp draw and things on it, you'll take and add up your uh, your wattage and then you'll divide that number by bulbs that you're currently using. These are 120 volt lights so you take the 102 you'll go ahead and divide it by the 120 which comes out with a 0.85 amps. This particular circuit's on a 15 amp breaker um, the 0.85 is <laughs> very little use for it for those of you who don't know um, it's also on the power strip back here with the thermal breaker protection. Some you get refused, you might have to replace a fuse or something. Um, so your amp draw is really low. It's efficient and it helps us with the lack of sunlight that we actually have here. Um, <clears throat> if you'll notice the lights are actually mounted center of the board, kind of protect from the upper one for water. She has trays underneath the plants, so anyway, keep safety first when you're doing things like this. Now for what we have, these lights seem to be doing just the trick, and this seems to be the setup that works for us. However, I do have a large double window behind here that gets a lot of sun currently. Uh, in the summertime, I've got a tree out here that has lots of leaves and it may shade this window and at that point I may have to go to bigger lights 
maybe not. We'll see. However, if you plan on putting a grow shelf or grow room in your basement, or if you don't have a south-facing window, you may need more light than what I have here. Um, but for my situation, this appears to be working just fine. My plants are growing. They're doing much better than they were. They're not anywhere near as spindly. They stand up. They're not laying on the soil anymore. So currently I'm pleased with this setup. When situations change, I may have to change it. But for now, this works and it's it, it's fabulous. I hope uh, Daddy Jay's explanation of the whole electrical stuff helps somebody uh, that can understand it. Thank you for watching, and until we speak again, be prepared.